The use of nitrates and nitrites in cured meat is a topic that's been debated for a very long time, which is why today we're turning the world of cured meats on its head as we talk about the first ever nitrite free curing salt made available to the public that could safely protect your meat against harmful pathogens. That means cured sausages, hot dogs, mortadellas, bacons, hams, pastrami, corned beef can all be made now safely without the use of nitrites. The product is called EcoCure and it's sold exclusively by the sausage maker. And by the end of this video, you're going to know what it is, how it works, is it safe, how to use it, and most importantly, is it right for you? Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Eric with Two Guys in a Cooler. And if you're new here and you like sausage making, meat preservation, charcuterie, take a moment and click that subscribe button and that notification bell to not miss a single episode. Let's get into it. EcoCure is an all natural curing salt that contains no nitrites and no nitrates. And I'm talking about not even the hidden ones that are typically found in vegetables like celery. So that brings us to the question, how does it work if it contains no nitrites? And the answer is surprisingly simple. You see, traditional curing salts that contain nitrites must undergo a chemical conversion in order for the curing salt to work. The nitrites in the salt must be converted into nitric oxide gas to properly cure your meat. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you would like to know how curing salts actually work, be sure to check this video up here as soon as this one's done. EcoCure, on the other hand, uses completely different science to protect your meat against harmful pathogens. The way EcoCure works is that it's a unique blend of extracts from Mediterranean herbs, spices, fruits, certain vegetables. Things like rosemary and citrus are ingredients in this product. Now, the compounds that are extracted are called polyphenols. They're also referred to as PREs or polyphenol rich extracts. And it's these polyphenol rich extracts that are high in antimicrobial, antibacterial, and antioxidant properties. And that's what protects your meat against harmful pathogens like botulism. If you're new to curing meats and you're not entirely sure what botulism is, it's also known as Clostridium botulinum, and it's the deadliest foodborne pathogen on the planet. Now, it is quite rare, but it's the main reason we add curing salts to our meats because if a spore is present, we certainly don't want to incubate it. And studies have indicated that when you use 1% of EcoCure in your recipe, you know, based off the weight of your meat, that it effectively inhibits the growth of these unwanted pathogens as well, if not better, than if you were to use a nitrate-based curing salt. Another really interesting thing about this product is color retention. We tend to gravitate towards meat that has those vibrant red colors because it generally indicates freshness. EcoCure actually preserves those pink and red colors that cured meat is known for. And it does this through the antioxidant properties of polyphenols. So this product doesn't use nitrites to protect the meat against harmful pathogens. It doesn't use nitrites to retain that beautiful color. It uses polyphenols. And these absolutely amazing natural compounds extracted from herbs, spices, fruits, and vegetables are the source of how EcoCure works. So that begs the question, is there anything unsafe about the ingredients in EcoCure. This is one of my favorite parts about this product. EcoCure has no preservatives, no flavorings, and no colorings, which I know is important to some of you. It's non-GMO and has no special disposal requirements. It means you could toss it out with your regular household garbage. It's not hazardous to the environment, so it's not gonna contaminate the land, the water. I mean, it literally has no hazardous ingredients whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about it if your kids accidentally get into it, or if you read the recipe wrong and you end up using too much EcoCure in your cured meats, it's still gonna be okay. And to give you a quick little demonstration, let me just kind of open this up and show you what it looks like. It's a very loose powder. Can you see that? Yeah, very loose powder. And this actually smells pretty good. I mean, it's got this sort of citrus herb thing going on. And what I think I wanna do is just grab a little spoonful of it and see how it tastes. Now, I would never do this with a curing salt that had nitrates or nitrites in them because those products actually do contain toxic ingredients, specifically sodium nitrite and sodium nitrate. That's the reason why they color them pink so you don't confuse them with other kitchen spices. But EcoCure has no toxic ingredients Therefore, it's safe. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. It is definitely salty, but there's no overwhelming flavors that I think would affect the way the meat tastes. Now, I don't recommend you eat this at home. Use it in your meats, but if you happen to eat some, it's totally okay. 
All right, let's talk about how to use these products. It's actually very simple. We've got EcoCure number one and EcoCure number two. That's the two versions that are available right now. And as you might have guessed, EcoCure number one is the nitrite free alternative to Instacure number one. So anywhere you would use Instacure number one to cure your meats, you can now use EcoCure number one for a nitrite free alternative. That means cold smoked bacon, smoked sausages, pastrami, corned beef, hams, bologna, hot dogs, mortadella, it really doesn't matter. Any of your short cure projects, projects that are gonna be cooked, EcoCure number one is the answer. And then there's EcoCure number two. And just like the product before it, this is the nitrate free alternative to Instacure number two. So anywhere you would use cure number two, you can now use EcoCure number two and create a safe dry cured product without the use of any nitrites. EcoCure number two, is typically reserved for your dry cured meats. Things like salami, bresaola, lonzino, copa, any kind of dry cured whole muscle. Things that are gonna hang and dry for an extended period of time. You would use EcoCure number two. When it comes to using this product in your recipe, and this really goes for both EcoCure one and two, you're gonna use it at a ratio of 1% to the meat. So if you have a thousand grams of meat, you're gonna use 10 grams of EcoCure. And that's enough to protect the meat against unwanted pathogens, preserve the color, and properly cure the meat. As far as storage goes, keep it in a cool, dry place, 55 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's got roughly about a one-year shelf life. Let's talk about the FDA. We had a post recently and a couple questions came up asking whether or not EcoCure was FDA approved. And it got me thinking about really a much bigger issue that we really need to address on this channel. And we'll do it in a later video, but I wanna to touch on it very quickly right now. Currently, and we're talking January, 2023, that's right now, the FDA does not recognize products with natural nitrites in it, like celery powder, beetroot powder, Swiss chard juice, or nitrite substitute products like EcoCure, as curing agents for meat. So all these natural alternatives to cure meat are basically considered flavorings by the FDA. When it comes to the FDA, there's actually only a few products that are approved for curing meat. You've got potassium nitrite, sodium nitrite, sodium nitrate, and potassium nitrate. So when commercial producers use these natural alternatives, including products like EcoCure in their product, because none of them are currently approved for curing meats, the FDA requires them to label their product as uncured, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's just the way that it is. And according to the FDA labeling guidelines, it also must have the statement, no nitrites, and no nitrates added with the qualifying statement, except for those naturally found in, and then you get to fill in the blank you know, wherever the natural source of nitrates or nitrites are coming from, all of that must be put on the package. And the reason they do that is so that the product doesn't seem misleading, which funny as it sounds, I actually think it has the reverse effect. All right, so keep all that in mind because I'm gonna show you a couple labels that I think you're gonna get an absolute kick out of. And you'll see where I'm going with this here in a second. This first label is pretty standard. Most of your uncured meat products are gonna look something like this. This is a pack of bacon. It says uncured bacon. Notice right there, it says no nitrates nitrates or nitrites added with a little asterisk. When we go to the ingredients section, that asterisk is clarified by saying, except for the naturally occurring nitrites in sea salt and celery powder. So we can see that although this is technically labeled uncure because that's what the FDA mandates, this product actually has nitrites in it because of the celery powder that it used. All right, let's take a look at one more label and I want you to pay very special attention to this one because it is totally different. Let's see if you can catch it. This one comes from Peterson Natural Farms. Picked it up this week at my local grocery. Look at that beautiful bacon, absolutely amazing. Let's take a closer look at the label. It does say hickory smoked uncured bacon, no nitrates or nitrites added. But notice the difference here. There's no asterisk next to the word added. And when we flip it over, and we look at the ingredients, it says pork water, salt vinegar, citrus extract, pomegranate extract, rosemary extract. The reason they don't have to put a qualifying statement on their label is because this actually doesn't have any nitrates or nitrites. So I reached out to the folks over at Peterson Farm and they confirmed that what they were using to cure their bacon was a product like EcoCure, which uses polyphenols to protect the meat instead of nitrites. My point is this, EcoCure isn't a new type of product. It's actually been around for quite some time, but up until now, it's only been made available to the commercial producer. Thanks to the sausage maker though, EcoCure is now available for us to use at home. So how do you know whether this is the right product for you? 
Well, if you have an aversion to nitrates or nitrites, incured meat or the dyes that are used to make them pink, EcoCure is one heck of an alternative. It's got no dyes, it's got no nitrates, it's got no nitrites. If you are concerned with eating unconverted nitrites in your cured meat, then EcoCure is the way to go. Let's be honest, there's no cured meat available that has 100% conversion of nitrites. You're always going to be eating, on some level, unconverted nitrites. So if that's a concern and you want to reduce the amount of unconverted nitrites that you take in from cured meats, EcoCure is absolutely the answer because it contains no nitrites, therefore this isn't even an issue. If you make a lot of bacon, and bacon happens to be in the highest risk of cured meats for nitrosamine formation, EcoCure might be a pretty decent option because you literally have zero chance for nitrosamine formation when you use EcoCure because there's no nitrites. Or maybe you want to get rid of synthetic nitrites and use something a little more natural. The long and short is this. Through natural polyphenol extracts, EcoCure allows you to cure meat without the use of any nitrates or nitrites. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to both EcoCure 1 and 2 so you can check it out for yourself. And I'm just going to tell you right now, this is not a cheap product, which is why if you have any questions about this product and you're trying to figure out if it's right for you, leave me your questions and I'll see if I can help you out as best I can. In the description box, I'm going to put a link to all the papers and articles and published uh, documents that I found. If you'd like to check them out for yourself and do a bit of learning. I want to wrap this video up by saying that I personally don't have a problem with nitrites and nitrates. We're going to continue to use them on this channel, but I do think it's important to explore natural alternatives. I've been using EcoCure for several months now, and I'm loving the results. Our cured meats taste the way that they should, so EcoCure isn't affecting the flavor. They have beautiful color, and most importantly, we mitigate the chance for nitrosamine formation. And there you go, folks. That's EcoCure in a nutshell. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. We've got a lot of projects coming up using EcoCure, including cold smoked bacons, hams, salamis, so that you can see how this product works for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to see those videos. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.